I was I was cleaning my Pelican hundred and forty fountain pens and before I'm going to put them back together again let's see how different they are as you can see some of the caps are in four parts this one has three parts again four parts four parts and this again has three parts the same with the nibs this one has the ink feet and the nib this one has a one part ink feet and nib this one again nib and ink feet nib nib and ink feet nib and ink feet now let's put them back together again and watch the differences in the different all pans look very similar but let's assemble the cap in this one you can see one part goes into the cap ah. wait a moment I need it this pen holder will help us put this cap together again this insert goes inside the cap we push it a little bit and on goes the little knob to fasten the clip okay and this nib needs to be aligned with the ink feet and this is very nice with these pelican pens you just push the nib and ink feet into the pen and the first one is assembled second pen the nib is the, the, the cap is slightly different this one doesn't have the insert you just put the clip on to it and fasten the knob and again in this case we have the separate ink feed and nib just put the nib onto the ink feed and push it back again into the fountain pen number two number three is slightly different the, the cap again is a, the four part cap and in this case you just screw the nib into the barrel. Now number four again a cap with this insert
this case again a separate nib and an ink feed and as you can see in case of the pelican pens it's pretty easy to assemble these parts there isn't there isn't so much friction needed and pen number five in this case a different kind of cap one part but in this case open on one side and Now let's put together this the nib. By the way, this is a fantastic double B double broad nib. It still has the little sticker from the fifties and Assembled again.